Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Wednesday, May 29th, 2024. And today is National Flip-Flop Day. And you know, it's only fitting right now since we're we're into the unofficial start of summer, um, you know, for flip-flops to, to be part of your your wardrobe now. Uh, of course, if you live down in Florida, you can pretty much wear flip-flops all year long. But um, it's also National Paperclip Day. And I wasn't going to mention that one, but I thought, you know, Sitting here in my at my desk in my office here, how many times do you search for a paper clip? Because you know it seems like whenever you need one, you can never find one. So it's also National Paper Clip Day. Where would we be in an office without a paper clip? <laughs> if you're studying along in the Gospels, uh, we're finishing up. We only got a couple more days left of this month, and then we're going to be fishing, finishing up the Gospel of John. And I'd already posted on social media. I hope you've seen it. Um, if not. Uh, next month, the month of June, we're going to go through the book of Psalms. And as far as I can tell, we're investing about 10 to 12 minutes a day in our in our walk with the Lord by studying in the Bible some of these these chapters. So if you haven't got in on the Gospels, take a look at the, the last we're finishing up here today. If you're reading along, we're in John chapter 15, 16, 17, and 18. John chapter 15 through chapter 18. And um, we'll go on from there. Our scripture reading today is taken out of John chapter 17 and is verses 20 through 26. And scripture says, Neither pray I for these alone, but for them which also shall believe on me through their word that they all may be one as thou father art in me and i in thee that they may also be one in us that the world may believe that thou hast sent me and the glory which thou gavest me i have given them that they may be one even as we are one i in them and thou in me that they may be made perfect in one and that the world may know that thou hast sent me and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. Father, I will that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory which thou hast given me. For thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, the world hath not known thee, But I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me, and I have declared unto them thy name, and will declare it, that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in them. Here we are. This is just just prior to, to the betrayal and arrest of Jesus we see that in chapter number 18 and in chapter number 16 we see uh, Jesus praying praying here and 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 getting well he's praying here for specifically for three things here in chapter 17 he was praying for himself here in verses 1 through 5 in verses 6 through 19 he's praying for the disciples and then in verses 20 through 26 that we just read Jesus is praying for us he's praying for us today and the question that that the title of this episode is 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 this prayer of Jesus answered today is this prayer of Jesus being answered today because you know I've I've said it many times here in the the podcast and I've said it many times excuse me when I'm preaching that the church is divided like never before and a lot of times it seems there there is a lot of fighting if you will between the denominations and 
friends, your battle, if you're a Baptist, your battle isn't with another Baptist church. It's not with the Methodist. It's not with a Southern Baptist or an Independent Baptist. Your battle is with the devil. And the devil is succeeding at getting the churches separated. But Jesus is praying for us here. He says in verse 20, Neither I pray for these alone. He's referring back to what he just prayed for, for the disciples. He said, But for them also which shall believe on me through their word. That's how we came to belief in Jesus, is through the word of the disciples. Somebody else witnessed us because of what the disciples did, and so that's how we, we came to Christ, is by the word of the disciples. In fact, if you go over a little bit to John chapter 20, you'll read it in a couple of days, when Jesus was talking with, with Thomas, the one we call Downing Thomas, he said to Thomas, Blessed are you who believe because you have seen. He says, But blessed are they which have, which have not seen and yet believe. And that, again, is referring right to us. So we are, we are seeing Jesus through the word of the disciples through the word of the people that has given their lives to Christ over the years, over the centuries. And what exactly is, is he praying for? He's praying for, let's see here, One, two, three, four specific things he's praying for in these verses. Verse number 21, that was the first thing that he's praying for, that we may be one. Let's look at verse 21. That they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee. That they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. Did you ever think for a minute that that's why so many people are rejecting the church and rejecting Christ? Is because all they see is, is judgmental criticisms and fightings in the church today. You know, it's pretty sad, but I saw a Facebook video, um, you know, a while ago. And like I've said before, I know so many and probably 99.999% of these videos on Facebook are staged and set up. But I've seen people posting where there's been, been fights in churches. I mean, people punching and scratching and pulling hair and everything else in churches. Friends, why is that going on? It's because the devil has such a stronghold. Jesus is praying here and asking that we may be as one as the, him and his father is. Him and his father are one. Jesus is in the father. The father is in Jesus. And and that's what, what he is what he's praying for is that we may be like that. You know, if you look into the book of Acts in chapter 2 specifically, we get a glimpse into the early church and one of the phrases there in Acts chapter 2 and I encourage you to go and to read that one of the phrases in that is is that they were spent their time together and that they had all things in common what's happened there's so many divisions and I live here in East Tennessee and and many people regard this as the the belt the Bible belt and and there's so many churches and so many churches that have five people attending why because their granddad got mad at the pastor at the church across the street so he went across the road and started his own church and and you've seen that time and time again I could take you to places here in Tennessee where there's a Methodist church across the street from another Methodist church and there's a Baptist church across the street from another Baptist church and both of them probably don't have more than 10 people attending either one of them and that's a sad state of the matter there's a big Baptist church right up the road from my house, a very large building, but I've never seen more than four or five cars parked in front of it. And I'm not criticizing the church. I'm criticizing us who attend that and that we're allowing the devil to get in there and he's, um, they we're allowing him to divide the church. And that's not what Jesus is praying for. Yet in this particular aspect, Jesus' prayer isn't getting answered because we're too busy following along and doing the things of the devil than we are following along and, and going out and witnessing for Christ. If we go down to verse 24, we see the second thing that Jesus is praying. Actually, before I get to that, verse 23 here talking again about being one he says i in them and thou in me 
that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me, and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. <clears throat> Look at that verse. That's a loaded verse right there. Because we're not made perfect now in the church. Because we're not, the world is not, doesn't know that God has sent Jesus. Why? Because the church is too busy backbiting and, and arguing with one another over things that are not important. That's where the divisions come in. In Jesus' day and in the early church, there wasn't no divisions in the church. There wasn't a Methodist church and a Baptist church and a Catholic church and a, and a, a what's another one? A Christian church and a, you know, there, there's so many denominations and that's why we're laughed at so much there's so many there's so many versions of our holy book that that's why we're 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 ridiculed so much but jesus said here that we need to be as one he prayed that we would be one verse 24 gives us two of them he says here father i will that that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where i am <clears throat> that's the second thing he's asking for not <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> not only that we be one but that we will be with him where he is where is jesus at the right hand of the father in heaven right now and jesus is praying that not only we be one but that we be with him where he is that means that we will be with him when we get to heaven <clears throat> that's why back here in in chapter 14 Jesus gives that let's see here let me turn to that real quick let's see in verse number 2 he said in my father's house are many mansions this is John 14 2 if it were not so I would have told you then look at this he says I go to prepare a place for you Jesus is preparing a place for us that we may be with him we may be with him I know in, in the father's house are many mansions but Jesus said he's going to prepare a place for us to me that tells me that's going to be something greater than the mansion and also in verse 24 let's see verse 24 he goes on here they, that they may behold my glory which thou hast given me for thou lovest me before the foundation of the world the second one their third one rather that they may behold my glory that we may see the glory of jesus we may see jesus for who he is the disciples knew jesus as as the messiah but they they probably in their mind and even in in my mind today I can't picture what the glory of Christ might look like. The Bible definition for glory is simply the abundance or the honor or the dignity in the majesty of Jesus. Seeing Jesus in his splendor, seeing him in his abundance, seeing him in a place of honor. Jesus prayed and asked that we be one, prayed that we can be where he is, prayed that we can see his glory. And then in verse 25, he says, O righteous Father, the world hath not known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known thee, that thou hast sent me. So we, we, we have God's love in us. I think that's verse 26 I meant here. Yeah, it's verse 26 is what I meant to read. And I have declared unto them thy name, and will declare it. So two things again in this verse, he declared unto us the name of God. Jesus said repeatedly through the Gospels of John that if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. So Jesus is declaring the Father unto us through his ministry. And then he says, and will declare it, that the love therewith thou hast loved me may be in them. He prayed again that God's love will be in us. The same love that was in him that called those, those, for lack of a better phrase, the sinful disciples 
from their life of sin to their life of righteousness in him for those people that jesus healed all that stuff that jesus did that we just spent a month reading about in the gospels was all out of god's love for us and we need to be showing that love to others so looking at how we are today and how the world is today is jesus's prayer getting answered what are you going to do to help jesus's prayer get answered are you going to be that one that's going to continue causing division in the church and promoting division in the church are you going to be the one that's going to withhold the love of god to people that need to hear and see the love of god are you going to be the one that's going to going to deny jesus of his glory friends jesus prayed for us that we would be one that we may be where jesus is that we may behold his glory that we may have god's love in us and that we have the name of god are we doing that today are we fulfilling that father i just thank you for this word lord and i thank you that we get a glimpse into the prayer life of jesus here and what he was praying for and father i just pray that that what jesus is praying for for us today here in in these verses lord that it gets manifest in us and that we we can be united as one single church of god remove the divisions lord and help the church get to a spot where we can be showing people your love like we should be doing and father i repent for the times that i've messed that stuff up and father i repent for the times that the church has messed that stuff up and i pray lord that you you help us lord to live in in this world to bring glory and honor to you for it's in jesus name i ask it amen don't forget john chapter uh, 15 through 18 remember get into god's word and allow god's word to get into you and then share that word with someone today have a blessed day hello this is heaven help my wife will be home any minute all lines are currently busy oh i'm in trouble please remain on the line your prayer is extremely important to us and will be answered in the order it was received oh this is not good to expedite your prayer Please choose from the following. Okay. For financial matters, press 1 now. Wife. Wife. For family matters, press 2. Okay. For in-law problems, press 1 now. No, wife, wife, come on. I need a miracle. For problems regarding your spouse. Hello, dear, I'm home. If you've had an argument with your spouse, Press 1 now. No, I'm trying to avoid one. Guess what today is? Hurry, 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 hurry! If you forgot your anniversary... Yes, that's it! That's it! A prayer can be as short as, Lord, help me. Isn't it nice to know that God doesn't have an answering service and that He is always there? Another message from Lifeline Productions, the comic strip of radio at lifelinepro.com.